on building the oldest NFL team, starting with our free safety. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get any of the top guys, but if we go over to the age column, click sort, we get to Sean Gibson, the oldest free safety at 33 years young. I mean, I don't think this is the worst start in the world. I mean, Gibson already boosted our overall up to a whopping 38. So we actually have 33-year-old Daniel Sorensen here at a free agency to be the backup. Now, once we finish building the team, we're going to sim this season and see if our squad's experience can lead us into the playoffs. Now, let's go ahead and move on into the strong safety position. Now, come on. Let's get ourselves an absolute banger. Maybe it could be Harrison Smith at 34. Somebody over 80 overall. I'll take Kareem Jackson. I mean, our man's been a dirty player this year, but I'll take an 81 overall. Hey, at least, though, Harrison Smith gets to be the backup. Would have loved for him to be the starter, though. I mean, I've definitely seen worse starts to a team builder. Teams overall all the way up to a 40. That zero overall offense dragging us down, which is why I'm moving on to offense here. And why don't we go ahead and add ourselves our left tackle? I wonder who this team's quarterback's gonna end up being, though. I'm hoping maybe, just maybe, with Troop Williams being 35, he could be the oldest. That would be incredible, but the moment of truth. Oh no, Dwayne. Do I really want this guy who's got some super funky facial hair? I mean, at least we didn't get somebody in the 60s. And what hurts even more is the fact that Troop Williams is gonna be the backup. Hilarious enough, though, the team's overall is currently at 94. I'd be shocked, though, if by the end this overall is still above 80. But hopefully we can continue adding decent overalls as we move on to right tackle. Hopefully nobody's older than 33 so we can get Lane Johnson. Have a bad feeling though somebody's gonna be there to steal my thunder. Kelvin Beecham! And we don't even get Lane Johnson as the backup because Riley's here to ruin the day. But again, this will probably be a common theme throughout the video. Like a 76 overall, it could be much worse. All right, tackles did bring the overall down to 91. Hopefully it can stay above 90 as we move on to the center position. Please, dear God, tell me there is nobody older than 35. If we could actually add Jason Kelsey, that'll be an absolute banger. Boom! This young 35-year-old might actually end up being the best player on the entire team. Got a decent backup with Corey Lindsley back there. I mean, at least so far, the offensive line's pretty decent. Well, let's go ahead and finish it off with our left and right guards. Beginning with left guard, I already know we're due for an absolute stinker. Just please at least be somebody over, like, 70 rated. I mean, I'll take Justin. I mean, he's not the optimal choice, but he's not horrible. It does suck. Joe Batonio is right behind him. Now, how about right guard? Our best bet's probably the 33-year-old Kevin Zietler. Just don't be a stinker. It's Kevin. You will take every 80-plus overall player you can get. I mean, the offensive line actually didn't end up too shabby. Unfortunately, though, the team down to an 89 overall across the board. But moving back to the defense for the time being is now we're going to tackle the linebacker position, starting with middle line linebacker. Our best bet here is probably Demario Davis, and he is 34, so that is a decent little shot there. Please give me Demario! Let's go! And it gets even better because behind him, we get Levante David as his backup. Bro, this team could end up winning the Super Bowl. I mean, what an incredible start to our linebacking core. Hopefully, we can keep it going with our outside backers, starting on the right side. I really have zero idea who this is about to be 75 plus and i'll take it oh no it's either aj klein or kyle van noy and luckily for me kyle van noy is the oldest of the two so i'll gladly take kyle although i have no idea who that imposter is maybe just maybe we can have better luck here on the left side give me somebody decent justin houston i'll take at 34 years of age he's still serviceable now that is one experienced linebacker room i tell ya. I mean, it should be obvious at this point that this team does not have, you know, the most speed in the world, but we for sure got the experience, which before we do find out our quarterback, running back, and receivers, let's go ahead and tackle the tight end position. I mean, I would absolutely love for it to be Travis Kelsey, but I feel like there's an older tight end out there. There's gotta be. I'm telling you, boys, I feel like this could be an absolute stinker. Oh, okay. That's not a real tight end. It's a long snapper. Hold your roll. But the good 
vibes do come to an end as it's Jimmy Graham, the 36 year old. I mean, if this was Jimmy Graham from like four or five years ago, I would have took it. I mean, does he at least have a good backup? Oh, uh, yeah, he does. It's either Travis Kelsey or Taysom Hill. And we do get Kelsey, and it really wasn't even close. What a strange tight end room. Now with that, let's get even stranger and go ahead and add our fullback. Wait, before fullback, we have a free agent on it. I completely forgot Mercedes Lewis was sitting here at 39 years of age. So after all that freaking hoopla, this is what the tight end room looks like. Come on, give us an absolute banging fullback. Oh, Nicholas stole Kyle from us. Our 34 overall fullback is going to be one of the worst players on our entire team. And while we're at it, we went ahead and added our kicker, Robbie Gold, who's 40. And our punter, 41-year-old Andy Lee. I mean, our special teams are just kind of meh. But hopefully our defensive line will bring our spirits back up. Because those spirits are getting lower and lower as our overall continues to drop. Starting off with our left end. Oh, this one has got to be Kalias Campbell, right? There's no way there's somebody older than Campbell. I'll take that all day, every day. 37 years young, we get ourselves an absolute superstar. And as his backup, we actually get 35-year-old Brandon Graham. I'm just hoping the right side of our defensive line treats us as well as the left side. Come on now, give us an absolute banger. Boom! Hold your horses. It's either Von Miller or Cameron Hayward. They're both 34, so at least one will be the starter, the other will be the backup. Obviously, I want Von Miller. And it was super close, but luckily Von Miller was the oldest. It is insane to me how good this defense actually looks. I just hope the defensive tackles don't ruin it. Oh gosh, consider the D-line ruined. Al Woods definitely wasn't my first choice. Neither was John Jenkins my first choice at D-tackle too. I mean, even with the lackluster defensive tackles, the team overall is still hanging on to an 87. And the defense should end pretty high rated as long as these cornerbacks don't completely screw us up. Now, cornerback is tricky because we have three players who are 33 years old. But in free agency, we have Janoris Jenkins and Chris Harris who are both 34. Chris Harris actually the older of the two who will be the cornerback number one, which Janoris will be cornerback two. Casey Hayward actually just turned 34, so he's going to be cornerback number three. And Mal Malcolm Butler, who's the oldest of the remaining corners, will make it as our cornerback number four. Kind of scary that not even one of these guys are deemed good enough to be on a current NFL roster, but unfortunately for us, they're good enough to start for our team. But at least the defense hangs on to an 84 rating, which is still, I think, good enough to make the playoffs. But rather we make the playoffs or not, it's going to be determined by how good our skill position players are, starting with the running back position. I would love for this to be Derrick Henry, but I don't think it's gonna be the oldest running back in Madden 24 is none other than Brandon Bolden. Oh, Brandon, why haven't you retired at this point? 86 speed? And his backup is gonna be Latavius Murray, who also just turned 33. Safe to say we might have to throw the ball 600 times this season. Oh, no. It gets so much worse, Ty. Taiwan Jones, you're 35. Why are you still trying to play? Well, unfortunately, Taiwan's gonna be the starter. I have to say, man, this running back room might be what drags this squad down. We better hope that the quarterback we get can save this offense. I mean, the team's still at 85 overall, but hopefully these wide receivers don't drag us down much more. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I got a bad, bad feeling about this. But the oldest receiver currently in the NFL is Matthew Slater. He doesn't even play there. I guess at least looking at the positives, this 37-year-old is at least a decent special teams player. Then we got a tie between Marvin Jones, Randall Cobb, and Adam Thielen, which Marvin Jones is the oldest of the group. But hilarious enough, Randall Cobb and Adam Thielen were born on the same exact day. So obviously, I'll choose Adam Thielen to be the three. Oh no, our wide receiver room is ruined. So unfortunately, this is how the wide receiver room 
humans up. I mean, that's gotta easily be the worst wide receiver room in the league. Brought the team all the way down to an 84 with an 85 offense. We really just need this freaking quarterback position to save us. Which it seems at the quarterback position, Joe Flacco here at his 38 years of age is gonna be the backup, but the oldest quarterback in all of the NFL to be today's starter is none other than Aaron freaking Rodgers. Even though he's almost 40, hopefully this man is good enough to save our offense, which officially brings the teams overall to 84 with an 85 offense and an 84 defense. With the bad receivers and bad running back room, I just don't know what to expect from this offense. And even with our quarterbacks lacking quite a bit, I still think I have more faith in this defense than I do the offense. This team might not have the talent, but they do have the experience, and more importantly, they do have the heart. I would just love for the team to actually make the playoffs. No, they miss out at 7-10, and 10, but at least they didn't come in dead last. I mean, we had a middle-of-the-pack offense and a decent defense. I mean, Rodgers had a good season. It was just that dang running game that screwed us over. And never in a million years did I expect Matthew Slater and Julio Jones to be 1,000-yard receivers in 2023. Now, even though we didn't make the playoffs, hopefully you enjoyed. And if you did, you can click right here to watch me build the slowest team in all of Madden.